This is my Coleman Big Red Cooler. When I grew up and left the house in 1993, my dad gave me this cooler. He also gave me a toolbox, and he also gave me some advice. He said, you're going out to work for one of them big corporations. And never forget that these guys don't give a shit about you. When the day comes for them to do a layoff, they ain't going to care that you got a baby on the way. They ain't going to care that you got a mortgage to pay. They're just going to lay you off because they don't give a fuck about you. So you don't give a fuck about them. Thus equipped with this new wisdom and a Coleman Big Red Cooler and a toolbox with a handful of tools, I went out into the world. But let's focus on the cooler. It's a Coleman cooler, but you can't really tell because the logo is all worn out and scratched. Everything about the cooler is original. It's still got its original lacking mechanism. All its original parts, the handles, the drain plug. I've never had to make any kind of modifications or repairs to this cooler. The only thing I've had to do is occasionally go in and lubricate the latching mechanism. But 50 years down the, down the road, it's still working like the day my dad bought it in the store. Now let's compare that to a couple other coolers I've owned. Let's look at this guy here, another Coleman, but it's only a couple years old. The top pops off like nothing. And the, kick, the handle for carrying it, gone. I don't know where it went, it just fell right off. Or this one here, it came with a fancy handle and a set of wheels so you could drag it behind you. The carrying handle ripped off, so I plated it and screwed it back on myself and then that ripped off again and then eventually one of the wheels came out so I just had to remove the wheels. This too is only a four or five year old cooler. And even this one here, another Coleman. It's only two years old, but already the drain plug broke off. Now luckily I was able to find it so I can still use it. In fact, I could still use all three of these coolers. But the big red is 10 times older than those coolers and nothing is broken. Does it show some signs of life? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's starting to wear out around the bottom. And of course, like any vintage product, it's, it's got its patina. Now I haven't babied this thing. I have used this like a cooler and I plan to continue using it. I'm not gonna baby it, I'm not gonna coddle it. This is my cooler, this has always been my cooler. If you went to a Grateful Dead concert with me in the 80s, this is what we took our food in. If you went fishing with me, camping with me, this is the cooler we use. I've loaned this cooler to people. I've left it outside for entire winters and the thing just keeps on working. I want to call attention to this scratch in particular. This is probably the first scratch or blemishes this cooler ever had. Because when I was a kid, I stuck a, a Fonzie sticker here. Now, a lot of you don't know who Fonzie is, but Fonzie is a, a fictional character from a show called Happy Days. Fonzie was cool. Fonzie could snap his fingers and two average looking Midwestern women would come to his side, rub up against him. But I had this sticker with Fonzie's face on it and I stuck it there. I remember I was a little kid. My dad got really, really mad at me because, you know, I put a sticker on his, what was then like his newish cooler, I guess. It was only four or five years old, you know? And he, he took some stuff and scraped it up. And I, I think these were the first scrapes. So it's only fitting that today, almost 50 years later, I put a new sticker on this cooler. A Sleepy Lizard Avocado Farm sticker. Cool sticker, ain't it? Everybody loves these stickers. You can get yourself one at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com, guacfarm.com. Go on there, get yourself a Sleepy Lizard t-shirt, get yourself a couple of stickers. When our fruit's ripe in the fall, you can get some of that. So while you're at guacfarm.com getting yourself a sticker and a t-shirt, I'm gonna be out here using this cooler on all kinds of fun adventures. I hope to get another 50 years out of myself and another 50 years out of the cooler. And we'll see you on the next video.